All right, what's up, everybody? We are on episode 13 of Fear and Beyond Journey's End, which is called Aversion to One's Own Kind. Yeah, you actually wonder with that title who they could possibly be referring to in that context, right? I mean, Firin is a possibility herself. Then again, I don't think that she quite had an aversion towards any elves before. At least she hasn't let up anything about that. It's more that she just feels, well, sad about the fact that she seems to be one of the very few ones left. Um, yeah, and we know that, well, uh, at least the village that she seemed to have come from was kind of... Um, um, well, got attacked and everybody was done for there, basically, right? Including what I would presume to be her parents living there as well, but I could still be wrong about that. Title could also, of course, be referring to Stark, I guess, who, of course, last episode we delved into his backstory a lot, and um, he actually grew up with a, a family that, well, let's say his dad wasn't the most appreciative of him whatsoever, right? Um, very tough guy, seemingly, and... Stark's brother definitely seemed much more upstanding and Stark's brother was always there to encourage him and stuff and made it all the more sad of course when we found out that Stark uh, apparently at some point had to flee from his own people uh, once his village also was attacked and you actually wonder by what all that we really did see I think was the um, you know the little village being put on fire but I don't think it was quite revealed to us who they were attacked by nor whether his family could still be out there. And so something tells me that maybe the brother, for sure, like we could still be running into at some point, which would sure be fascinating if that happens. I will say that, yeah, last episode in general was once again just a great, you know, great in its character development to me. I love the dynamic that we have going on between Firin, Stark, Fern as well. Fern being a much more protective character, especially over Firin, right? Whereas Freewin is starting to show a lot more of a sort of... I mean, we always knew that she was like goofy and kind of quirky, right? But she's also... She has this playful side to her where she had no problem in the slightest giving Stark that one potion for his birthday that would dissolve the clothes or whatever, right? <laughs> Whereas Freewin is like, nah, that's a fucking no-go. We're not going to do anything like that. And um, it's, it's funny because I do... I mean, I did talk about already, of course, the fact that I feel like there's something brewing nonetheless between Fern and Stark even if they're very different characters from each other. But, you know, you know what they say, opposites attract, right? But um, that being said, <laughs> all the more funny when Fern actually got to see Stark in that moment, looking at the clouds, and he goes like, oh, that one looks like, like shit. <laughs> oh, man, it just puts a smile on my face in general, honestly, the, the character moments that we get. And, um, yeah, learning kind of about the little, the little quirks that some of them, I guess, have, right? Uh... Yeah, let's see. Is there anything else to talk about? I mean, the only thing is that we got revealed to us, of course, sort of a flashback sequence with the, the old party, the party of heroes, as they, of course, call it. Where, yeah, Himmel was meant to pull that sword out the stone. It was like an old legend, right? Kind of King Arthur style of, oh, yeah, a great legend one day will be coming to pull this sword out and stuff. And um, Himmel actually wasn't the one to do it. And it's funny how he didn't let that get to him. Very commendable, of course. Uh, and he was like, I'll still be the hero regardless. And he nonetheless felt destined to be the one, which of course he did turn out to be basically the one. I'm pretty sure out of the four of them, I guess he was the one to deal the final strike as well uh, uh, to the demon king or whatever, right? But yeah, I don't know. We have yet to, of course, see how they actually uh, um, completed that final boss fight, let's say. I'm already very much looking forward to that particular moment because I know for sure they're going to show it at some point. But yeah, like that being said, I do wonder whether this story, the story of the sword, is still going to have its tale. You know, because Stark looked at it and I was kind of thinking that Stark would have at least given it, a, a, you know, an attempt himself. Like what if he turns out now to be the hero in the current times that's going to be able to do it and, you know... Again, surely there'll be some massive obstacle in our road still in this journey as well, right? Uh, other than just a couple of demon remnants, uh, a couple of demons that are still out there, which aren't by any means as strong and dangerous as the, um, the ultimate boss was that the party of heroes dealt with. But it's that sword story that made him in particular think already back to his family and to his, um, uh, to his brother. And I guess it was more about the fact that, you know, the story of like, oh needing to be that person to pull the sword out reminded him of the fact that his dad was so tough on him and that his dad kind of looked at 
the brother especially i guess is like the chosen one and maybe that's just all that it was but i wonder if it's if it's again if it's going to continue having a bit more of a tale to it and uh, if it's going to be relevant at some point still later on Anyway, guys, we are going to dive into episode 13 here of Freerun. And of course, if you enjoy my reactions to this show, you will be able to get early access to the next 12 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. So go and check it out. Over there, we are already going to be on episode 25. Full-length reactions will be up there too if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety. And you can also sign up as a free member and watch at least the next two episodes already right now. So with that being said, let's dive into episode 13. Oh. Who did Freeran run into? Interesting. Start a conversation with a stranger, it seems. I wonder what his story is going to be. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, we definitely don't know him, though. <laughs> and let me guess, his body died? I mean, or maybe not. I'm, maybe he did actually still nonetheless by himself. Because maybe you could have protected him in that moment? He chose not to be an adventurer. <laughs> no way. Oh, he got stuck! <laughs> oh my god, what an amazing reveal. Dude, he's literally on the brink of fucking dying here too. <laughs> Yo, Fearin, come on, man. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> this is done so well. Your hand is dirty. That's why I'm not gonna pull you out. I don't wanna, you know, make myself dirty here. <laughs> Yo, I can't believe what we're doing right now. Okay. Fern is gonna help. No, but I did find this guy. <sighs> you better. See, I'm starting to think that Fern is the real leader here. Venomous creatures, damn. So poisonous, but does that mean snakes or... Ooh, yeah, these are... Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly that. That's the venom. Not looking out clearly, he has uh, six more hours to live. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, a bad sign. Damn, dude. I would just leave him the same way you were about to leave the dude. Stuff out potions? I don't know about that. Really? Uh, but Aizen, like... I mean, Aizen could handle anything, I bet. Yeah, but Stark is not the same way. Come on. We all know this. <laughs> oh my god. Figured. Pray that he'll go, you know, not so painfully. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the dude was his brother. 
<laughs> Didn't I warn you, goddammit? <laughs> oh my, it's like flowing out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that's uh, fair enough. Just like that, huh? The most outstanding priest in a region by the holy capital. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Oh, hey, I guess all these priests uh, are in a little circle together. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Oh man. Yeah, we heard about that already. Maybe being stuck in that uh, quicksand. I don't know what we even call it, mod. Mm. Are we going to take him along, though? I was going to say, but that might have been the most uh, exhilarating moment for him in a long time. <laughs> An actual adventure, right? Hey, his magic is going to come in handy, though. Yeah, exactly. We'll basically have all the classes again, right? Except... What was Himmel considered? Because they are basically two mages. We've got a warrior, we'll have a priest, and then only we still need what him all was. To have all the same classes. Yeah. Priests love corruption, apparently. But what about your brother then? Mm. He really did need that little push. If you can beat me. My man, it's an offer to you, not vice versa. <laughs> oh god. That's just because he lost big time. He's not getting tortured, Fern. Oh, man. <laughs> he gambled everything he had, including his clothes. Oh. Oh. Maybe they both actually uh, lost everything. <laughs> the village chief. Oh, that's reminding her of this again. Their actual invite, huh? I guess she knows exactly how to convince him now. Oh shit! Yeah, gonna kind of force him into it? Or else? <laughs> oh. いくらで買い戻せたの？収穫祭も近いし、ゆっくりしていけって。ただで返してくださりました。Okay. 
<laughs> Ew, your clothes. <laughs>。Apparently。たまには背中を押してみるのもいいと思ったんだよ。Yeah、he didn't take it though. I mean, I wonder how Firin still ended up saying yes. <laughs> wow. Persistent. <laughs> I guess it wasn't the last time we saw them in their underwear. I guess it wasn't the last time we saw them in their underwear. I guess it wasn't the last time we saw them in their underwear. I guess it wasn't the last time we saw them in <laughs> oh, Fern, you have the wrong impression of him. Hey, that's a. Uh, that's any man, too. Older, younger. <laughs> women. <laughs> oh, Fern is pretty old. <laughs> now we're talking. You've already met her. <laughs> She's a thousand years old. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, are you just gonna start flirting with him or what's the tactic here? I don't know. Oh god, what tactics are we about to deploy here? Use the seduction technique my master taught me. Oh no. <laughs> Yo, oh come on, you are kidding me. <laughs> nah, that's too light. That's too light. We need something more drastic. Well, that's because he actually liked you a lot. From the start, I'm pretty sure. Oh shit. <笑>俺は冒険者になるつもりはない。親友を追いかけたいんじゃないの。もう死んでいるに決まったんだ。That's what I thought. I mean, what? Are we offering that we could still possibly come across him, find him? Do we know where he'd be? いけない。理由は10年前にあいつについていかなかったのと同じだ。兄貴を置いて村を出るだなんて。That's a that's a fair point unless the brother now gives you permission, right? ファイター様が生徒から視察に来た時消えちまったんだ。あなたほどの才があれば生徒の司祭としてもやっていけるでしょう。私が生徒で didn't want to abandon him, so he feels like I can't abandon you. Okay. Why did he not go, though? Damn. I mean, that, but that means that he, like, I don't know. I don't understand why Sign feels this obligation to stay here and now as well. <laughs> I guess Haito saw her. 
いつまで後悔し続ける<笑><笑> Oh, don't worry. I knew you were going to be. Only been 10 years. That's the Freeran mindset. Hell yeah. Yeah, and what state are we going to find him, though? That's the question. I kind of wish the, the brother could have come with as well, though. He could have still gone to that capital church that they, or the capital city they talked about, I guess, right? It was the capital city where we basically came from. Where we had the starting ceremony and everything. Heaven. Either we'll find it physically, yeah. <laughs> exactly, or we'll die in combat. <laughs> Good luck to us both. We're in the same boat now. Fantastic, man. Alright guys, well anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course you can get early access to the next 12 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up as a free member and watch the next two episodes already right now. So, I'll see you there.